So we've had an insanely awesome 2016. And, uh, man, we've done more in 2016 than I don't know. It'd be close, like, comparing what we've done in 2016 to, like, the rest of my life. It's been a huge change living in an RV, but it's been a great change. It's been one of the best years of my life. Yeah. I mean, we've yeah. gotten to see and do so much, and we've learned a lot, and we've grown a lot as people, and it's just... I can't even put into words like how awesome this year has been. In January of 2016, we packed up our motorhome, slid everything in, and headed to Texas. Where are we going? Can you say Texas? Yeah, we're going to Texas. While in Texas, we took some leaps we'd never taken before, and Hensley tried out slide after slide after slide. We had close encounters with dolphins, and we danced, and danced, and danced. And of course, Hensley was proud of finding her big stick in Austin. I don't know about that one, Hensley. In Texas, we were introduced to Gordo's, which is basically donuts on steroids. We also introduced Hensley to the beach. She wasn't too crazy about the waves, but she did like to eat the sand. We saw some incredible sunsets in Texas, and then we headed northeast to Virginia, where we introduced our motorhome to some mountains for the first time. It did pretty well. Then we hitched up our bikes, and Hensley went on the longest bike ride of our life so far, the Virginia Creeper Trail. We didn't stop with the bike riding. Marissa found some great trails to check out the East by foot. And we hiked and hiked and hiked. And we found some breathtaking views by doing that. Before we headed out of Virginia, we took in some beautiful sunsets. And then we headed on to the nation's capital. And of course, Hensley made her mark near Washington, D.C. by splashing in some puddles. More puddles. And more puddles before we headed on to the Big Apple of New York City. We were blown away by New York City. We packed up the motorhome and our Subaru to head back to our hometown in Tennessee. And Marissa drove the motorhome for the first time. And we broke down for the first time in the motorhome. There's absolutely no connection between those two at all. I promise. We hit the road again for our home state of Tennessee. We spent some time with the family and the son. And then we headed west and made a stop at St. Louis. While in St. Louis, we visited the craziest museum we've seen in our life. And we moved on from St. Louis to make our first stop in Colorado, which was the Great Sand Dunes National Park. We hiked the Manitou Incline in Manitou Springs, Colorado. Which, by the way, because of the heat, the lack of shade, and we hadn't adjusted to elevation, was the toughest hike we'd done as a family. We outran a storm in Rocky Mountain National Park. And then hiked and hiked and hiked all over the state of Colorado. We wrapped up our two months in Colorado riding a train from Durango to Silverton. Hensley absolutely loved it. After weeks of not having full hookups, we did the full hookups dance. And then of course Hensley Topped off our trip to Colorado with jumping in puddles. It's gone. <laughs> we left Colorado for Albuquerque, New Mexico for the balloon fiesta, which was just, I just can't think of a better word. It was just magical. It really was. And 
Marissa got to ride a hot air balloon up with all the hot air balloons on a Saturday, and it was a great experience for her. We left New Mexico and headed back to Tennessee for the holidays, and while there, made the final decision to buy an Airstream. So I left with Scott to Texas to pick up the Airstream. Not long after picking up the Airstream, we decided we wanted to pull the Airstream with a diesel van. And so I flew to Massachusetts and then finally came home with a tow vehicle for our Airstream. We've been chipping away at the Airstream as far as remodeling the inside, took out the dinette, created uh, benches that could be arranged you know, in different ways for us to save room and have flexibility. And we've also been chipping away at getting the van ready to tow. So thank you so much for following our journey in 2016. If you haven't had a chance to view some of the videos, you saw some clips maybe you haven't seen before, I mean, go check them out. They're pretty good. Um, don't go before 2016. They're pretty rough in the end of 2015. But, uh, I think There's 20, a learning curve. Yeah, January in 2016 on. Um, you should be safe, hopefully. We're looking forward to this 2017 to come and yeah. what new adventures are ahead of us so there's so much more of this beautiful country that we haven't got to explore so we are pumped oh yeah it's we're just getting started <laughs> say happy new year happy new year that's close <laughs> happy, new year. happy new year see ya <laughs>